What is going on, you lunatics? Guys, in my comments down below, for most days, you always see somebody, when I talk about Luna Classic, who says, nah, scam, nah, it's not going to go back up. Nah, most likely, it's going to go to four zeros 25, bro. Uh, it, and I just assume that that's how they talk in my head when they say stuff like that. I had somebody the other day who was like, nah, bro, that is not going to go up anymore. That is going to go down because of bankruptcy. Again, I just think they talk that way in their own inner monologue because they can't not have an extra chromosome if this is the case, right? Because guess what? I was right again. Uh, and Luna Classic continues to rally. So is it the rally that you're looking for? No, of course not, because it takes time. It takes some things. And I'm gonna show you the things that are gonna cause it to go crazy at, at some point very soon. And I think a lot of people are starting to feel it. A lot of people see this market and they're understanding that we're on the verge of something. How good it'll be, how bad it'll be, we don't know yet. But there's something in the works here. It doesn't mean, by the way, that we're not going to get another uh, massive sell for another massive dip or something like that. It doesn't mean that at all. It means that most likely we are at the end of accumulation and the bull run phase of this market is about to start. Now, that doesn't mean, again, that Luna Class is going to run wild or anything like that or any other coins. It, it means that Bitcoin probably starts to have that move. It's being estimated right now cost about $70,000 to mine a Bitcoin currently worth $60,000, meaning that it is time for everybody to huddle and drive the price up. And that, of course, creates appreciation. And then the sellers become the people that cascade their money down into the rest of this market. So if you like this content, uh, you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you share it with everybody and uh, let's kick it off and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so uh, chapter 11 bankruptcy hearing is scheduled to commence in mid-September of 2024. That's not the important part. That's just a piece of it. Now, what that did was it caused this move. Suddenly we've got a nice big move for about five days in a row. We had that consolidation. I told you guys I expected to see a breakout. We got a breakout. We got three days of confirmation of this breakout. Doesn't mean we don't get a back test at 407. It just means that we should hit that nine level up here pretty soon. And we have to close above that. And if we do this as a continuation, we'll be good to go. But let's come back to that in just a few moments. So then you had Terra powered by Luna, the, the Terra underscore money says important notice from the Terra community regarding the plan of confirmation hearing September 19, 10 a.m. For more details, go here. It doesn't really give you very much when, you, when you're talking about it, okay? But there is an important piece to it. The important piece is, uh, so there, you know, th there's like $4.4 billion in penalty, disgorgement, blah, blah, 420 million paid by Duquan. Where'd he get that money? You know what I mean? Um, oh no, I'm sorry. He was responsible for 110 million, which he already paid by the way, which he already paid. So um, that was the broke guy that was running from the law because he didn't have any money, by the way. Did I mention that? The wild. So anyway, um, one of the, here, here's the, here's where it gets interesting, right? One of the wallets associated with TFL holds 74.5 million worth of assets, according to data from Arkham. Now, Happy Caddy Crypto has done the work and the, the labor, and he tracked down a lot of this and, and gave you these, uh, these numbers about what it was. How ever he wasn't right and when i say that i don't mean that he he it, it, here's here's what i mean they didn't know all the wallets and he doesn't know all the wallets he only knows what they see and if terraform labs tries to circumvent this they're going to go to prison right so still the securities regulator has claimed that the proposed fine amounts to a conservative measure of tfl and quan's unlawful game and here is where it gets interesting noting that the defendants still control hundreds of millions from the TFL ecosystem and hold some of these assets through the Luna Foundation Guard. Now, this is where it got interesting. How much is Luna Foundation Guard holding on to? Remember, they're holding over a billion USTC. At, at the, there is significant burn getting ready to happen. Like we looked at this, we saw that they held 274, Luna Foundation Guard held 274 billion Luna Classic and, and, a, and, a, and a billion of the uh, USTC. Those are significant amounts of supply. This is not a small amount. When you look at what we've burned so far, 129 billion. So you're looking at the effective burn with just one Luna Foundation Guard wallet of 273 point something billion. That's gonna triple what we've burned so far. I hope this means that you're getting a little bit bullish. Now, here's the question. 
when will that shit happen? When will it, if it, if it ever happens, right? So here is the deal. And this is where it gets interesting. Um, the, the question is, when will the burns happen? And that comes into play right here. Terraform shall use its best efforts to confirm such a plan by September 30, 2024. If no such plan has gone effective by October 30, 2024, the commission may enforce this court's judgment against Terraform, which means they will come seize the assets of Terraform Labs, which means that Chris Amani will, they're going to be in trouble, okay? They will be in trouble for non-compliance with the federal government's laws, regulations, et cetera, et cetera, in the court order of the judge. Now, that is... Uh, is Judge Jed Rakoff of Juris Protocol. Um, not really, but pretty funny. So we're close. We're close. Today, time of filming, August 23rd, which means that we have five weeks maximum before this stuff is supposed to be done. Nine weeks if you consider that they might try to extend it until October 30th. And we have no information from Terra underscore money at this point about what date they're going to do. And of course, they're not going to tip their hats because that, that's not legal. Because what they would be doing is they would be, be giving you a virtue signal or virtue signal, a signal to let you know when to buy and when to sell. Okay, so you can't do that. And that's what's prohibiting us from knowing exactly when. But we have a frame of reference in which we uh, should go by. All right. So we're close to something that I think will be an explosive move. Now, let's move on from this one. Just remember to keep this in, keep this feather in your cap because uh, Luna Classic is making a, a, a surprising comeback very, very soon. Okay. Now, uh, integrated rule set and inclusive Terra, Cla Terra Classic L1 development strategy from, Scra from, from Strathcall. Uh, there's nothing really, you know, th there's nothing new that we haven't already talked about. Uh, wallet stations and providers. Uh, there are some communications and discussions to be had. I would suggest that you go to Commonwealth and check them out. Uh, as far as coin haul, everything goes. A lot of green in the market, uh, but there's a few that have kind of fallen. Pizza Boy, uh, we've got Pepe M. You know, some of these have, have had massive sort of falls. You know, we don't have a million dollar token, by the way, in the Lunk ecosystem yet. So, um, you know, just like Tron had no million dollar tokens, uh, we probably will have some people uh, jump in here at some point and, you know, this stuff will start to go, you know, kind of crazy, right? We just haven't seen the capital flow this way because Lunk is under the radar still, but when it's not, it's going to explode as far as um, governance proposals, still the same spend proposal, which I think the, if you go back and you look, it, it was my understanding that, that the, uh, uh, Genuine Labs said, you know, we miss we, we misworded this, so vote no. And we're going to put a new proposal, a new spend proposal in. So you can see here, everybody's voting no uh, to try to help get this done with uh, so that we can close it out. And you can see here, just, just a lot of no's. Uh, Interstellar Lounge went ahead and voted yes. I think they want to be supportive, but, you know, um, here we are. So uh, quorum over here, we don't have it. It's not completed yet, but it should be fairly soon. Now let's talk price action. Back to this. So, um, you know, you, I draw this out for you every single time. I tell you exactly what's getting ready to happen. Uh, so here's, let me give you, this is going to be a guess here, by the way. I can't tell you that this is going to happen, but I suspect that we're going to hit this nine a little bit, and then we're going to start to see some rejection. Uh, and there's two spots where I would look for a rejection, and that's going to be it in a positive fashion. It's going to, you know, we'll just have like a little trickle right back down here because there's not a lot of movement here. Um, so, and and it's, it's the the movement's not coming from like real traders trying to you know make a big bag or something like that. But um, it's just kind of a natural move upwards based on information, and that information is still going to be very very good and kind of exciting. So um, we're gonna hit nine, probably come back down to here. If we don't come back down to here, then the next move would be uh, from here. We come back down to here, and then we come back up and do a test again. And we should break out at that point. However, the other possibility is we come up here and then we get a sideways and then a rejection back down into the seven range. I don't suspect that that's going to happen. And if it does, then it will look like this. And we'll have like a one day where that happens. And then we'll get a really large kind of move here and an aggressive move up into this range. Now, uh, I'm pushing that up a little bit higher than what I would like to because I think that the next level of resistance comes into play right around um, three zeros, 10, four, 10, five. So I think we're still you know, 20%, 30% away from where we settle into that next move. 
When we zoom out, however, it gets a little more interesting because then uh, as you start to get some of these other uh, um, some some of this other chart out here, then you start to see that's where this sort of range right here at uh, uh, three zeros fifteen starts to come into play. Okay, so I would suspect again that that's going to be an impulse move that we're going to experience not too far away, and then a breakout up to three zeros two is the next logical path again zooming out here you can see here it's done it a bunch of times so it's going to do it again and then if we can get confirmation of that if the breakout is real then we'll get some confirmation and we'll get up here into the threes and then the real move would start that's where uh, you know that's where we get into the 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 real heart of the matter and we get to two zeros one which i think is probably coming as well so that is my guesstimate of what is going to happen so um, as you can see here, trade volume is down a little bit, uh, but the market cap continues to trickle its way up. We haven't had an impulse move yet. I do think an impulse move is coming. I think the impulse move is coming gigantically on uh, USTC. Why do I think that? Well, if you just consider that one Luna Foundation Guard wallet has a billion USTC, then you're talking about a 20% cut in the circulating supply, leading to a 20% spike in the price on the very next trade if that's taken out of the circulating supply and put into the total supply. Because if the market cap is still 96 million, then you know that takes us over two cents. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, but I think that we're you know we're gonna start feeling some buy pressure, some real buy pressure. I would suspect, by the way, when it comes to USTC, let me give you kind of a, a an idea here of what I would suspect would happen here. USTC, I think, is gonna go on a ride up to six or seven cents right here, leading to an eventual cap at 10 cents, which is where we capped previously on one of these runs. And then we had this secondary little pump here. So I think that's gonna happen again. We've seen it happen multiple times, boom, boom. And then this one up here, boom. So I think those are coming. I think that's what we're going to experience. Now, beyond that, I don't know. It's, I don't wanna, I'm not, I'm trying to stay uh, conservative in this uh, because, you know, once you get to moon boy, if you will, then it's very complicated to, to try to back that down. So just please bear with me here. Uh, I do think that we found that bottom. Now this, you know, this, if you look at the structure here, this tells me that maybe we didn't find that bottom. Maybe there's some more low. The problem with this and, and the problem with saying that, hey, we're going to come back down here into this range I, I is if we do, I think it's going to be a wick like this because it's already happened a couple times. And it's just because, you know, the market, the, the, the market is greedy and it's trying to, to suck liquidity out. But the bull run is almost heat like it's it's really starting to to manifest and 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 grow and 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 get bigger so you know the 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 day when everything explodes is coming very soon when you start to look at all of these things and you say you know what let's just take this into account right and let's say that we've got this kind of a um a, a really cool sort of this is a trading range right here and if you look at this from here then you'll see you know we've kind of created this platform right where we bounce we we, we retest etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's right there and you see we've kind of broken it a little bit but we go back into the structure right that means that uh, something is getting ready to happen now when we zoom into it on the daily what do we see we see that within 30 days here, we're going to be consolidated. Now, in a dead market, what you're going to see is, you know, probably see this, and then we'll probably see this. And in a dead market, we're going to get this and this, and then we're going to get this, and we get, you know, like a little test back here because the market is dead. But if this market comes alive, Cryptonomy is giving away from $100 to $10,000 to participate. All you have to do is follow the three Telegram groups, follow Cryptonomy on X, and make a fixed staking deposit of at least six months to join the launch pool by August 20. So if you're interested, make sure you sign up today. Also, I'm making another move here. You guys know I've been a fan of API 3. Well, the granddaddy of API 3 should be considered to be Link. So I brought in 582 Link. I'm going to stake that right now for six months at a 29.6% yield. That's going to give me a pretty good increase. So I'm confirming. I got my Link right now. I'm going to get about a 30% off of that. And now the granddaddy of all, this is the launch pool. The launch pool is where it all happens. 
I'm gonna use 0.4 Bitcoin in the bronze package. That's up to 5X returns. And we're gonna hit the continue right here. And we got a whole new contract. Guys, try Cryptonomy.ins today. That's how you earn yield. Then we're gonna see just a rapid, rapid sort of move, especially when everybody finds out that there's over a billion tokens in USTC getting ready to burn. They're gonna start doing the math and be like, oh my God, this could happen. Do you know what I mean? And that's going to lead to a massive spike in interest. Now, it will be upon 100% here, okay? It will be upon this meme coin community to make sure that you're getting the word out and getting people uh, into this ecosystem, if you will. It's going to be on them to, to, to really make this happen. That's how, at its best, we will bring people and attract people back into it. So be prepared. If you have meme coins, uh, as you guys know, I got a, a nice little stack of meme coins over here. So I'm just waiting for that moment where uh, these things start to, to, to really send and really pop. And I think that the gem, by the way, and I'm not tipping my hat on anything, but I think the gem of this, uh, for your information, is Juris Protocol. Juris Protocol is, to me, the one that will have the most absolutely stunning rip in all of it because Juris Protocol is what the, the new Anchor Protocol is. That's the lending arm. And when that lending is launched, then things are going to change dramatically in this ecosystem. So, uh, but let's move on a little bit here. Uh, again, we've got the proposals. We know what's going on. We got the lunk burn tracker starting to tick up again, even though we're at the end of the month where it usually dies down. You saw it die down last week, but now it's starting to pick up volume. We're, we're getting a few good things. If, speaking of good things, go check out Terra Casino. They're a sponsor of the channel here. If you don't go check them out, then I can't keep doing this. You know what I mean? Uh, you got to sign up over there. Uh, start playing some. Uh, start playing some games. Uh, and check this out. There's a bunch of people over here that are playing. And look. And, and by the way, these wagers. We're talking about wagers. Well, there's a fifty dollar wager that just went in. Holy shit! Uh, well, actually, there's another one for fifty dollars. Somebody over here is playing big ball games. But I mean, look. These are twenty, thirty, forty cents, eighty cents, a dollar. You know what I mean? Like the, the, there's there's not gigantic people that you know they're not playing uh these gigantic games okay i uh, just come over here play a little bit use some luna classic use some use some bitcoin use some ethereum uh usdc usdt dogecoin um uh bnb busd go use whatever uh but go do it and if you're looking to trade some meme coins trade some meme coins over here and look uh if you want to earn yield farm get over here and get yourself into the yield farm now you guys know i have 5000 terra not a lot my 5000 terra and i'm staking that and i've got 90 days uh that i'm you know i've got two more months to go on this one so i'm staking that for a little period of time um and uh what we'll do after that is I think I'm going to jump into this yield farm and we're going to start looking for one of these really swift APIs on um, something that I'm going to like. And, you know, most probably going to be something like Juris or something like that if it's available. If not, Lunk USDC seems like a pretty decent pairing, right? Uh, but there's total value locked here. You can see this. Like, I'm going to go with one of the safer ones. So Lunk Terra combination here with 117,000 TVL. You know, that might be uh, the, the best option. Low rate. Only 16% APR, but you know, you, you, it's more stable. So uh, I, I would look for that. But anyway, if you're if you're looking for trading, and by the way, don't forget that Rocket will be doing something at some point pretty soon. We should see some information about that coming up. In fact, we're still waiting for the update on this. Remember, this is a tower defense game, and I love tower defense games. And Liquid Staking is coming to our Liquid Staking pro protocol. And this is from Terraport.finance. If you want Liquid Staking, which means that you're able to stake while still using your funds and still having it in your wallet, right? Because uh, you're going to get, instead of, uh, if you stake um, uh, if you stake your Terra, then you'll get like, you know, L Terra or something like that, uh, which will be used for uh, transactional purposes here. And of course, somebody else takes over your, very simple. The, our, the So, but it's worked on right now and it's almost done, but they haven't had an update in just a little while. So they might be finishing out this game, but very, very soon we should see, uh, we, we should start seeing some rocket appear in our wallets. So um, there you go. That's it guys. Uh, I think this market is getting ready for something spectacular. Uh, you know, and, and we've said that for a long period of time. We've, we've looked at it. We've tried to con convince ourselves, I've tried to convince myself that any moment now we're going to.
big run, right? And and I can go back, by the way, and I can tell you just from looking at it, if you, you know, if you will grant me this, if you pay attention to all of this time over here, and I'm like, guys, something's getting ready to happen, something's getting ready to happen, something's getting ready to happen, and then you had a bunch of people saying like, no, it's not, no, it's not, it's dead, bro, and then boom, you get this move up here, you know, you get this gigantic move, right? And that's at the end of November, and then you have that that dump right there, uh, you, you find your range here, and then it spikes back up to four and a half cents, so it's all happening and it's playing out by the way and this is uh USTC Luna Classic is doing it too same thing is playing out okay uh and, and by the way just to just to clarify the same thing's happening with the theory uh same thing is happening with Solana different little, little different structure but generally speaking if you look at uh the, the structures of how things are playing out you saw a false breakout over here but you can see that there's just a lot of settling right there in that little range right there and uh, if you just kind of touch the tops, you see same thing is happening. Same structure is happening. And by the way, when you go down the list, there's another one. It's all happening. And the next move is going to be an explosive sort of move in this market. So we're getting there. Have a little patience and you should see something spectacular happen very, very soon. Uh, let me know what you think, though, in the comments down below. And remember, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not qualified to give you financial advice. I'm qualified to give myself financial advice because, you know, I don't like other people telling me what to do. And I like to see it for myself. And I really think that we are... Uh, ready for just an explosive sort of move. Um, the, the final piece, Fear and Greed Index, I would be watching that if I were you. So um, make of that what you will, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon. You guys have a good weekend, and uh, Lunk, it's about time to rock.